As the animals marched forward, the phantoms escaped by fleeing into their dark portals. But just as the last of the phantoms were retreating, they overtook Zeus and vanished with him into a portal. Mira quickly dove into a dark portal, following Zeus and the phantoms, disappearing as the portal closed. Hey, Beans! So we just finished up the solar eclipse in Animal Jam, and during the solar eclipse, we saw a couple of cool things. We got a brand new armor set, we got some really cool views, and most mysteriously of all, the Mira and Zeo statues kind of got these lights that shone on them, even though everything else was totally dark. And you see, for a long time, including during the eclipse, in fact, for uh, seven years now exactly, today is Animal Jam's seventh birthday, uh, the Zeo statue has been just dead, lying in the Lost Temple of Zeos. But just after the solar eclipse, all of a sudden, Zeus and all of his golden, shining star glory just rose up and is now, like, alive. And Animal Jam puts a thing in the Jamal Journal and is like, guess what? Zeus is alive. Figure it out. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, I have to use some generic terminology in the intro, but really when I say alive, that implies that he was dead at some point, when actually he never was dead. And we know this. I've done a conspiracy before about why Zeus never died. Pretty basic, but essentially, from that passage I read earlier, you know that Zeus was just captured by the phantoms and somehow put into a state of inactivity. In Animal Jim's video about the origin of the alphas, we see Zeus with these bright green eyes at the very beginning. They're just these piercing, radiant eyes that clearly symbolize power and just being awesome. But then, once he's taken by the phantoms and placed in his normal statue spot, all of a sudden his eyes turn purple, and ever since then, every time we've seen him, he's kind of had these darkened, boring eyes that just make him seem like this inanimate mask. Except, sometimes, on things like the Zeo's Tapestry, we see him with these bright green eyes. When he's being sort of celebrated or appreciated in some way, sort of prayed to, then all of a sudden, he's seen as if he was alive. Because when he was alive is when, you know, he did all this stuff, and that's how we want to remember him. And now, he looks exactly like how we remember him from when he died in the beta. So, he didn't really die, but rather he was put into some sort of state of inactivity by the phantoms, and now, for some reason, he is alive again with these green eyes. Now, the minute this thing happened, I immediately recalled one of my old theories, in which I talked about there being a hidden city under Zeos, which literally would be insane, but is quite plausible. Go check out that video if you haven't already, it'll be pretty important for the rest of the video. Now the room itself is called the Lost Temple, so it makes sense that there is some sort of lost temple, you know, somewhere in the room, and I think the only place that we can think of is under it. Now actually, if you went and watched that video, I'm sorry, because I'm pretty sure that video was wrong, and it's not going to help you at all with this video. <laughs> so really what I think happened is that underneath Zeos, there is the Phantom Portal. That's where the Phantom Portal was. Julian, that's ridiculous. That makes no sense. You just, just, you're jumping to conclusions here, but I'm not. When you sleep around the Zeo statue, what happens? That's right. The phantoms show up through the Zeo statue and all of a sudden just start swarming everywhere. Now, where in the world are phantoms coming from? Why are they in a Zeo statue? There you go. You, you know where I'm going with this. The phantoms took Zeus into this sort of secret portal, and they live just underneath the portal, and this is the portal that the phantoms have into Jamal. And now that Zeus has moved, and all that rubble and annoying dead mask stuff is out of the way, we see that there's actually some sort of spy movie, like, opening trap door passageway underneath of him, which could clearly be a portal. We've seen that Animal Jam has some legit technology going on. Okay, next thing. Mira and Zeus, during the solar eclipse, looked like they had light radiating off of them because I think we all looked at it and saw that there was light on them and assumed there's no way it's from the sky because the sun is totally blocked out, so it has to be coming from them. But actually, what if the reason the Animal Jam solar eclipse happened is so that all the light could be concentrated onto these statues, and actually the statues weren't giving off light, but rather receiving all of the light at one time. Plus, if Zeus was giving off light, why would he give it off in little beams pointed at one direction up in the sky? It would radiate all over the place and like the entire thing would be a little bit brighter. So, my theory is basically that Mira and Zeus teamed up to create this light and point it at the Zeus statue, and as soon as that light was concentrated and pointed at Zeus, the Zeus statue came alive again. Why is that? Why would light awaken Zeus? That's for the rest of the theory, but for now, this is my theory. Mira and Zeus used their powers to align the sun and the moon in a perfect way so that the beam came straight down on the Zeo statue, which awakened Zeos from his, like, eternal slumber that the phantoms had put him in. But wait, 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 wait. How could Mira and Zeos have used their powers? They're trapped, and, like, they're down there, and they're not up there. How could they control the sky? They're literally gods. Not only can gods usually be in more than one place at a time, they also, like, by definition, have control of things other than themselves. For example, the sun and the moon. But 
whoa, what a what a stretch, right? How can we know that they control the sun and the moon? Because that conveniently fits into my theory, and that would really work super well for my theory, right? If I just made that up, but there is evidence. First of all, I'm just gonna go with the obvious and point out that Animal Jam literally calls Zeus the Sky Father, implying that he has some sort of, you know, paternal attachment to the sky, or is the sky god. Also, you remember those messages in a bottle a long time ago and we got all those haunted portraits and phantom guards and all those cool things? Well, we actually got one for Zeus, and at the time we all kind of passed it off because we were so curious about Peck, but on the haunted Zeus portrait we see a headless horseman with a Zeus mask, but interestingly enough, there's a giant moon in the background. Like, do I, do I have to explain this? Zeus' symbol is the moon. Now, I think we all assumed that Zeus' symbol was the sun and Mira was the moon because of their colors, but through this portrait, it's really obvious that Zeus is symbolized by the moon. So if Zeus is the moon, why haven't we ever seen him? Because the big thing about the moon is you kind of like see it every once in a while, right? It's, it's like, it's there. Well, the answer is that the eclipse can only happen during the new moon. And what's interesting about the new moon is it's the phase in which the moon's orbit is not seen from Earth. What you see during the solar eclipse, which is the only time you can see a moon that's in the full moon stage, is the silhouette of the moon against the sun. So the only way that Zeus could be seen, or that Zeus could be reactivated is by the sun. This means that Zeus was actually here the whole time, but just not visible. And how was he here? Because he's he's a god. He's, he's like everywhere. He's in multiple places, I promise. Trust me. But in order to be seen by us and to have his powers work, he had to be aided by the sun, which is Mira. How do we know Mira is the sun? Check out the haunted Mira portrait. That's right. These are very important. You see how she's breathing fire? First of all, sun, fire, that's obvious. But what's even bigger is Mira is surrounded by this sort of aura, this, this blue glow around her, similar to the corona that is very famous for the eclipse. It's the reason you look up the eclipse and it looks like this awesome thing, because you can see the sun's outer atmosphere during the eclipse, just like you can see Mira's outer atmosphere glow here. So, if they're both the moon and the sun, then what does the eclipse mean? First of all, it means that both of them have control over the world of Jama again, because they're moving their moon and sun in symbols, and they actually have the power to take what they control and do stuff with it. They're both moving and alive and active within the world of Jama. And Animal Jam's seventh birthday, which conveniently happens on the same time that this does, also hints at this. Check out this Animal Jam birthday cake that they put in the Lost Temple of Zeus. On top of the temple, which is, by the way, no longer lost, not crumbled, very high, very, very regal, it is the best temple, Zeus is on the very top with the green eyes. Meaning that not only has he been reactivated, but his powers have been restored, and he sort of controls all this power of this temple that's been lost once again. Now I'm really curious to see what Animal Jam has to do with this in the future. Hopefully next update we get a little bit more revealed, but it would be really fun if they kept making us theorize like those messages in a bottle a couple months ago. So let me give you a brief summary of my entire theory. Zeus was captured by the Phantoms at the very beginning, we know that for sure. During that time he was sort of deactivated and his green eyes became purple and then eventually became not eyes, and he was just a mask. Then when the sun and the moon lined up, Mira used her sort of astrological powers controlling the sun to direct a beam of light onto Zeus, thus awakening him with her power. And Zeus has returned to his sort of glory, as we see both by him being just a shining gold pile of awesomeness in Lost Temple of Zeus, and also by the lost cake that the lost, it's a found cake, you find the cake in the Lost Temple of Zeus. And Zeus is the moon because of that haunted Zeus portrait in which we see the moon, and Mira is the sun because she has the corona and she spits fire. There you go. That's my theory. If you guys have anything to add on to it or anything to dispute or just want to say it was awesome, please leave a comment because this is the kind of stuff that is really a team effort. No one sent me any conspiracies about this yet, and I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say because I love it when Animal Jam jumps on the conspiracy boat and gives us some fuel to keep going, because like sometimes I run out of stuff to talk about. As I'm sure you're all familiar with by now, the email to send in your conspiracies, glitches, and cool moments from the game is julian2moments at gmail.com. I will fully credit you if your conspiracy is used in a video, and I guarantee I'm gonna be using some of these conspiracies in the coming weeks as we learn more and more about Zeus and his mysterious reappearance. So make sure you get yours in. I really am just excited to read all of them. Sometimes kids send things in and they're like, there's no way this is true, and I'm like, wow, that was one of the coolest things I've ever read. And sometimes it's just one sentence that just sets off a whole train of ideas in my mind, or I combine multiple just one or two paragraph conspiracies that people send me. So no matter what you have, no matter what you think, make sure it comes in to me because I want to hear all of your thoughts because every opinion is valued on this channel. So anyways, Beans, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!